So we went to kind of the definitions and concepts about the core uh, flow time and actual flow time. And I know what you guys are thinking, where, when he's going to get into the math part. We're all waiting for math, math, and math. So now is when we're going to get to the math part. So the uh, process, uh, core process time calculation. So the core process, again, are the activities that are being done uh, that actually are uh, creating value to the product, right? The activities that excluding all the waiting times. So we can call it core processing time or theoretical process time. Uh, it is basically the uh, flow time. It's the minimum amount of time the customer can stay because of their activities that are being to be done. And you're just going to sum the activity time, right? Which is uh, how long it takes for a unit to go through that step. Right, and also we're going to usually get into rework, okay? And the rework is the amount of time that it comes back uh, to the same activity. So I need to understand how how many uh, uh, products are coming back because I lose that capacity for for the next one, or it takes more time, right? And we're talking about core processing time. So it's going to be the total time spent a customer in a process, assuming that there's no waiting lines, right, and no waiting between process steps. Uh, the rework here could be done a little bit different. Uh, usually it's going to be this one, which is going to be uh, activity time. Let's say it takes five minutes times one plus the rework. And rework is going to be a percentage of the time, right? Let's say 20% uh, of the time, right? Say it takes fifth takes uh, five minutes and the rework is 20% of the time. So it's going to be five uh, times 1.2 to being the 20% uh, and that will give us six uh, minutes. So basically what's saying that on average a unit will take six minutes on that step because although several of them will take only five minutes, 20% of them will actually take 10 minutes because we'll go five and then we reworked five again, right? So one of them uh, or 20% of them will actually take 10 minutes instead of five. The other 80 will take only five minutes. So uh, by applying this math where multiplying one times a rework will give me the six minutes on average, right? Uh, for those. That happened just to understand the math because one took 10, right? Because it past two times. The next four ones took five. So 10 plus five, 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 which is 20 is going to be 30 divided by five is going to give me six minutes on average, right? So it's kind of the same math, same result if we do that or if we count it each one individually. Uh, and that if it's the rework can only happen once. If the rework can be performed more than once, so every time is going to be 20, some items can actually go more than 10 minutes, right? Because it can be 20 and then uh, it can take 10 minutes and then go to first time, get rework, and then go to second time, get rework, go to third time, go to reworks, and then that item is waiting there for actually 15 minutes not uh, uh, 10 minutes as we uh, thought it would, right? Sometimes it happened, the problem have that, but most of the time, the problem will have this when it only occurs once. So if it doesn't say it occurred more than once, assume that's only occurring once, okay? Uh, we need to identify if they're all parallel routes, activity from start to the end. So there's uh, uh, two ways of calculating uh, when activities happen in parallel, which when they happen at the same time, or they go one way or the other. And we're going to go over detail on that. That's a very, very important concept. Because the math is different. It's each one of them. I know it's tricky, but I trust you guys. I know that you can do it. Okay? You can do it. So we're going to see uh, first, I think, in parallel. And then uh, when they, they happen, uh, one route or the other. So I have to compute the word content. means that how long it takes in each activity and then the core processing time will be the uh, just adding all the work content along the longest route and we're going to talk about that as well. So this is the first example the one in parallel and I'm going to record that in the next video.